Thanks for calling me on the stage. Hello everyone. It's great to see you all here. Well, my name is Swas Kumar uh, and I'm the co-founder of Wild Solutions. By profession, I am WordPress developer, team reviewer, and support lead at the Palace Marketplace. Well, actually, we all are here today to know the new way of doing the tax in WordPress. The new way in the sense of using or managing the WordPress tax through the command line. At first, it may sound weird that can WordPress be managed from the command line? Yes, actually it is possible to manage the uh, daily uh, WordPress tax that we do, uh, that can be managed from the command line too. So, uh, we are going to make uh, most of it today. Uh, that uh, we'll be learning uh, how we can uh, manage the WordPress tags through the command line. So, throughout the presentation, firstly, we will learn that uh, we will discuss that uh, uh, how the uh, how we gonna use command line to manage the WordPress. Next, where we gonna use it, and lastly, uh, the advantages of using the command line uh, in the WordPress. Actually, command line and the command line that I'm talking about is uh, actually ca can be abbreviated from the single word that is WPCLI. Well, uh, before going straight to the topic, uh, I would like to discuss on one scenario. Uh, for example, uh, we are going to install the theme uh, from the WordPress directory. So, what are the steps that uh, we actually follow while uh, installing the theme from the WordPress directory? So. Uh, actually, uh, there are five steps that uh, I normally do uh, to install the or, uh, theme from the uh, sorry theme from the WordPress directory. Well, uh, first, uh, what I do is uh, download. Uh, sorry, uh, first I search the theme in the uh, uh, through the URL. Then I download the theme. Then I extract it. Then. Uh, I copy it, I paste it to the uh, project folder, and then activate it. So altogether there are six steps. So it takes me around uh, a couple of minutes, uh, like three, four minutes, something like that. You know? So uh, between this process, I switch uh, over the browsers many times. Uh, browser, uh, administration panel of the WordPress, this and that, this and that, and I already uh, uh, used a couple of minutes uh, doing the, this uh, step. Uh, okay, so if I do the same thing from the command line, if I want to do the same thing from the command line, then uh, can you imagine uh, how many steps that I take uh, to do the same thing? Yes. <coughs> Actually, just one command is sufficient for that, and that is just one step. If you have already opened up the terminal, Okay, then you just hit this command, wp theme install, that the theme name, and activate it. See, see the command there? Install and activation can be done from the single command. So, command will handle the rest of the background tags that we manually been doing uh, from the uh, administration panel. So, we'll be uh, discussing more about it uh, on the coming slides. So, uh, let's get into the topic uh, uh, for today. That is, what actually is the WPCLI? Yes, actually WPCLI, the full form of WPCLI is WordPress command line interface. That is, managing the WordPress tags from the command line interface. So, uh, it may sound weird that uh, in every releases, uh, WordPress is uh, doing its hard work uh, in maintaining the is backend graphical interfaces, uh, in order to make the is users more user friendly, uh, in order to do the WordPress tags uh, more easier through the graphical interfaces, but in today's session, I'm just talking in the reverse uh, side. That is, uh, without uh, open up the browser, without uh, uh, doing the WordPress tags from the backend. I'm encouraging, I'm trying to encourage you to do the same thing from the command line just by open up, first open up the command line and 
just uh, do everything that you do in the backend uh, through the single interface. So uh, it will be uh, it will gonna be a more interesting uh, on the following slides. Uh, you will be uh, looking into that. So uh, yes, uh, you can see uh, uh, through the command line we are going to work super fast and uh, of course uh, without touching the browser. So. Uh, let's do the same thing uh, that we do from the uh, browser end, like uh, uh, installing the WordPress. So before that, we need to set up the WPCLI in our machine. So it's simple, you can see the process over there. Uh, so uh, first command you can see, uh, if you hit the first command curl, uh, something like you have seen on the screen, uh, first you hit that command on the on your uh, terminal, uh, then the WPCLI.fire fire file will be downloaded in your machine. You need to uh, give it a permission to execute. Uh, that is the second step. And you need to move that file into the safe location uh, so that it does not accidentally delete it or something like that. You know? So, uh, and the fourth step is WP. WP is the key package that uh, every command will be uh, return to it. Something like WP install, WP active, so it will be more easier for us to remember the command. Uh, okay. Okay, let's check whether uh, this uh, WP CLI is installed uh, successfully in our system or not. You can see uh, if you hit this command WP double dash info in the terminal and uh, those information get displayed. If those information get displayed, then uh, it's sure that WPCLI is now ready to install in your machine. So there is a little exception for the Windows users. Uh, for Windows users, uh, it is quite uh, difficult for them. Uh, it may be quite difficult for them to install the WPCLI because WPCLI needs the Unix-like uh, environment, a Linux-like environment. So uh, there are uh, other approaches that. But, uh, Windows users could uh, make uh, their, uh, they need to set up the environment variables uh, from their environment properties. So they have to download the composer file. Uh, so uh, it will be a different uh, part uh, of explaining how uh, Windows users can install the WPCL. So I'm not going on to that topic. So you can research on that. So my focus will be on the Linux users or all of the commands that I will be going to show you on the uh, following uh, presentations uh, is same to that Windows users or the Linux users, both uh, it will be same. So it won't make a difference, only the installation is different. So let's understand the command first. You can see the command over the screen, WP user list double dash uh, role equals to uh, editor. Uh, we can pretty guess uh, this uh, uh, command is human readable, right? Uh, WP is, uh, of course, the package user is the main command, uh, list is the sub command, uh, and uh, double dash role equals to editor. So, what this command knows is pretty much clear. So, it lists all the users which have the role assigned as editor. So, you do not need to open up the browsers and see what uh, users are uh, assigned the role, uh, uh, editor role, okay? So, uh, it's quite uh, easy and straightforward. So, let's try uh, the further, uh, further things uh, on the command, from the command line. So, uh, we're gonna try it, uh, to install the WordPress from the command line. So, what we basically do is uh, the same process like uh, we install the theme. Uh, like, um, if I am trying to install the WordPress and if I'm the normal user, uh, what I do to install the WordPress is, of course, uh, go to .org, download the zip file, extract it, create the database, this and that, this and that, and it takes me about five minutes, so-called five minutes uh, famous installation, uh, what uh, WordPress uh, uh, usually call it. So, um, on top of that, uh, I'm not gonna call uh, now, it's a five, minutes, five more minute installation. Now it will be a 45 second installation. See, see this command. 
uh, this command is uh, not that messy. So uh, if you focus on the command only, then it is of course uh, straightforward and stable. The WB code download. I simply hit the command WB code download. It will uh, source the most latest version and download it into our system. Next is of course we generate the config file and config through the command we have given all the information. Uh, database name, uh, host, username, password, and another. Uh, we have just uh, uh, WP Core install. Uh, through the WP Core install, we have given the user information that we give from the browser means uh, site title, admin password. So we are doing the same corresponding thing from the uh, address, sorry, command line panel. So, uh, at first, it may sound uh, a little bit uh, like uh, it may you may find a little bit uh, tough playing with the terminal. But uh, if uh, you for, uh, you go on uh, loving the terminal, then those commands will be really simple for you to uh, execute uh, and implement in your daily life. So, uh, as this whole process can be accomplished in 45 seconds. Okay. Um, most uh, interesting part will be uh, the managing the themes. So managing the themes uh, actually deals with install, delete, uh, activate, update, and source. So we are going to do the, uh, some activities from the terminal uh, for managing the themes. So uh, managing the theme, the command for managing the theme is pretty much a WP theme and soft command. So what will be the soft command? See. These are the soft commands. WP theme activate. If you just hit the command WP theme activate, it will simply activate the uh, theme. Uh, okay, WP theme activate, and you have to give the uh, slog of the uh, that uh, the theme. WP theme activate uh, 2016 gives you uh, uh, executes uh, the 2016 theme will be activated. So we're gonna try these uh, commands. So uh, look at here. Uh, I'm trying to search the uh, theme that is WP theme search technology. So themes that are tagged with technology will be listed uh, into the terminal. See, uh, these are the themes that are uh, that will be listed, uh, which are tagged with technology. Next, uh, you can see the series of commands here: WP theme install, activate. Uh, okay, these uh, commands are pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, you can see the, in the example WP theme install 2012. I have activated, uh, sorry, installed the theme there. Uh, uh, the package will be downloaded from the WordPress directory and uh, installed into a system. Uh, next, WP theme activate. I have activated the uh, uh, that theme. So uh, we can merge these two commands into the single command. You can see over the screen the third command WP theme install. Uh, install double dash activate. So installation and activation can be done from the single command. So it will be uh, even more faster. So uh, next is the listing the theme. So you can also uh, without uh, logging into your browser, uh, going to a backend, you can also check from the terminal that how many themes are listed into my current uh, setup. <coughs> so uh, you can see there are four uh, themes that are uh, available uh, with status, update, and version. Okay, managing plug plugin will be next interesting thing. Uh, so uh, installation, activate, delete is uh, the task that uh, actually deals with the managing the plugin. Okay, so I have just uh, I'm uh, searching the plugin uh, that is uh, with a slog slider. Uh, the relevant sliders uh, the plugin will be uh, displayed in the terminal. Is displayed in the terminal. So. Uh, choosing the one, I have installed the pl uh, plugin and at the same time I am activating it too. So the plugin will be installed and activated. See, the time has been reduced to the seconds from the minutes. So it will increase our productivity if we uh, if we uh, adopt the WP CLI in our development uh, and project developments and daily uh, orders managerial tasks. So. Uh, next is uh, I'm uh, uh, listing the plugin and checking for the uh, availability of the updates. So 
Plug, uh, command is uh, pretty straightforward. WP plugin list double dash update equals to available. So it filters out the plugins whose updates are available in our dashboard. So two plugins are available for update. So next thing is I am updating the plugin, one of the plugin that is loginizer. Uh, so command is uh, again simple, WP plugin update and given the slot that is loginizer and the loginizer is updated. Okay. Next thing is managing the database. WP CLI is equally powerful for managing uh, database stacks. So uh, actually managing uh, database stacks deals with these kind of uh, actions like export, import, drop, query, etc. So uh, let's export and import the database. This will be the most uh, striking features of the WP CLI because uh, while well, uh, we move from the development to production, then uh, uh, we, have, we may have experienced the migrating the site from the local to the uh, remote server. Uh, and uh, during the process, we need to search and replace the, uh, the different, uh, search and replace the site URL, right? So uh, what we usually face is the time execution error, timeout error. So uh, if we work from the terminal side, then uh, those kind of hassles uh, won't be, uh, will not be, be facing uh, anymore, okay? So you can see here WP uh, DB export, DB, WP DB import, WP DB reset. These are the very simple commands that we can uh, use to uh, execute the database operations. So WP DB export, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to export the database, uh, current database. So I'm inside my project folder and I'm, uh, I just, in this command WP DB export, it will simply export the database into .sql file. So next is, I'm importing that file. WPTV, import, and the file name. Simple, nothing so hard. So, um, uh, file is imported, okay? Uh, also, that imported file uh, is not necessary after the uh, import tax is complete, so we can also uh, uh, use the command WP, uh, WP TV, uh, RM, and then file name. It simply removes that file from that uh, folder. Okay, so the WP TV reset is another query that uh, the database will be resetted. You have been prompt for the resetting. Well, this is the query database. You can see we can. Um, they run the simple uh, SQL commands from the uh, terminal. Uh, WP TV query, select user login, I'm selecting the user's login and ID. Uh, next is, uh, we can also query the options tables. Uh, so uh, here you can see the command WP get theme, get current theme. So you can get, you can, uh, from the terminal, if you can uh, just uh, simply see the, what is the currently activated theme. Simply uh, admin email, blog name, these are all straightforward and you can see the output over there as well. Okay, so next, uh, search and replace that I had uh, talked a little time ago. So search and replace is uh, quite, uh, it will be quite handy for us uh, if we follow the WPCLI uh, terminal uh, uh, in our uh, daily development uh, tasks. So you can see the command over here. Uh, I have simply, uh, uh, simply first see this command structure, WP search replace old URL and new URL. So what I have done here is WP search replace. I have put the old URL and then new URL that I want to uh, replace the entire site uh, database URLs. So entire uh, the, you can also see the replacement, total replacement is 10. Uh, so uh, 10 uh, results uh, were affected from this command. So uh, it is quite uh, handy. So uh, next is the managing media. So media, uh, it is also the most uh, interesting feature. Uh, uh, managing uh, the media, okay. So yeah, if you look at that uh, command, WP uh, media import, 
what uh, this uh, command is trying to say is that uh, we are importing the bulk of images into our media library by simply hitting this command. WP Media Import from the pictures folder with .jpg uh, extension. Okay, it will be very much helpful. Next is WP uh, uh, Media Regenerate. We can also, uh, without installing the plugin, we can also regenerate all the uh, images that we have in our media library. So a little going, going a little advance. We can also create uh, post types and taxonomies by from the command line also. So uh, it is called the scaffold. Scaffold is the component for that. So WP scaffold, you give the, the post uh, type name, zombie, text domain zombie, and where you want to write into that file, right? So uh, zombie post type file will be generated and placed into the theme, okay? So it is pretty easier right, to see. This, uh, if you check that file, you will see the code of the post time. Simply parent theme and child theme can be generated from the terminal too. See? Don't be scaffold underscore s galaxy underscore best galaxy uh, theme uh, will, be, uh, will be created into your theme folder. You can see the example over there, galaxy. Also I have created the uh, child theme of the galaxy, galaxy child, okay? So multi-site, also multi-site uh, can also be managed from the command line too. So you can see WP core multi-site install. If you simply hit this command, you need not worry to uh, about the setting of the multi-sites. Uh, so it is uh, pretty straightforward too. So WP core multi-site convert is a very interesting uh, command. It uh, completes your single site into the multi-site. So simply this command is quite enough to convert the single site into the multi site. Well, next is the WP CLI package. WP CLI package is, uh, is the extensible packages. The, the features that are not given by the WP CLI can be extended or ejected <coughs> through the WP CLI. So it's like building a plugin in a WordPress. So you can go to the URL and those packages can be installed from WP package store. So, uh, already integrated plugins that came with WP CLI are uh, this, uh, plugin, these popular plugins. Aaron's custom fields are already integrated with WP CLI. You can see the list over there. So, uh, if you install these plugins and WP CLI is uh, there in your system, then you can simply control uh, those uh, plugins from the terminal end. Well, I'm gonna use it. So, if you are interested, I'm sure you are interested to uh, install the WP CLI into your machine now. So what are the requirements that if I uh, need to install WP CLI into our machine? So first, go to its uh, authorized, uh, sorry, of official URL and read it documentation. Then you need to set up the Unix-like environment. Linux is most preferred. Windows users can also extend it. PSP uh, version and WordPress versions are uh, uh, these are the minimum requirement environment. Well, uh, supporting host. Uh, we can, uh, uh, staying uh, at the uh, local host, we can also control the remote sites. So, already supporting sites are listed here. So, blue host, red host, site drum, synthesis, this uh, host already supports the WP CLI. So, you can do the remote tasks from your uh, local host. Okay, you can control every server side uh, um, managerial tags from the command line. Digital ocean and line node are the BBS. They have also already <coughs> integrated the don't be CLI. Well, uh, by saying this, I am just uh, completing my uh, today's knowledge sharing uh, on don't be CLI. So if you have any questions, please you can ask to me.